In this video, I wanted to show you how to take separate images and blend them to create an image like this one. So I had three separate images. I had this image of this squirrel and this squirrel and this squirrel. And I used the selection tool to create this image. So I'm using PhotoDirector version 9 but you can use version 8 or version 7. They both work as well. So once you have all your images loaded, go ahead and duplicate your background. So right click and duplicate layer and then turn this background layer off because it's locked and we can't do anything with it. And then we want to add an empty layer. So come up here to the layer manager and choose add empty layer. And that's going to be our blank canvas for putting all the separate images onto and layering them beside each other. So the first thing we'll do is turn two of the three images off and then we'll just work on one image at a time. And then come up to the select area tool. And with this rectangle tool selected, and with the feather, I'm going to put the feather at about 200, but that's something you can play with afterwards. And just note here the width and the height once you make your selection. So click onto here and drag to make your selection. And just note that the width and the height are 1418 and 1986. So now that you've made this selection, choose Command or Control X and Command or Control V and it pastes that selection that you just made on its own layer. And you can see the cutout on the original layer. And so just turn that layer off and there's our image. So we can turn that layer off as well because we're going to move on to the second squirrel and we're going to go back to the select area tool and our width and our height they are the same we haven't changed those so instead of making a selection here all you have to do is click once and it makes that selection box for you in the exact same dimensions and then do the same thing command X and command V and turn that layer off, the one with the cutout that was cut out, and come back up to your layer and turn that one off. And let's go up to the third image and let's cut this one out. So go back to your select area tool and again the same thing, it kept the, those same dimensions and just click approximately where you want to create your text box. And that looks good. And choose Command or Control X and Command or Control V to paste it. And again, turn that layer that we just cut out from turn that off. And so now we can start moving them over onto our transparent canvas that we created down here. So go up to the very top and with your Pick and Move tool, click. Just grab onto that image and move it over. And you might want to resize that. But we can we can do the resizing afterwards. And then come to your other squirrel or whatever your image is. And click on it and place it where you want it to be. And then do your final image. And maybe turn the other two images off. So we can see our bounding box here. Click on to that and move it over. So let's turn our other layers back on. And now we can start moving them around to exactly where we want them to be.
and you can change the order of them if you want. You just click and drag them. So now this squirrel who was a, on top, he just went behind. I don't know if you noticed that his tail was more prominent since he's on top. So now let's move him back to underneath. And it is pretty subtle, but it did make a difference. So depending on what look you're going for. And so now that we've placed all of our squirrel images where we want them to be, we can come down here to our transparent layer and we can either fill this in with white. So come up here to the, grid, to the fill tool and it defaulted to white so we don't need to change it. And then just click on to the layer. It gives you your white background or if you want it to be green or any other color, but I'm going to use green for an example. Click on that. And if that's a little too green, we can come up here to the gradient tool. And with the linear gradient and our two, our foreground and our background are both set to white. And the opacity put that around 48 and then just click and drag to the right and every time you click and drag it brightens it up a little bit so depending on what look you want to go for and this squirrel here oops, let's go back to the pick and move tool this squirrel I think needs to be enlarged and move them over a little bit the grass is not really matching up like that maybe enlarge these guys up like that because we want the grasses to match up And there. That looks good. And then if you want, you can go ahead and just delete these layers because we don't really need them. So just right click and choose delete. Yes. Right click, delete. Yes. Right click, delete. Yes. And then we can go ahead and merge all these layers and export it. Or if you want to save this, you can save it as a new photo file or save it as an express template. It's up to you. So that's how you blend multiple images. And I hope you like this video.